Hello there. How would you like to take a signal processing algorithm, such as a finite impulse response filter or a fur filter, design it and simulate it on your PC, and then deploy it to FPGA hardware? And the same FPGA hardware is great for other applications like artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, or embedded processing. I'm John Petris with MathWorks. This is a four-part video series that'll cover getting started with the AppNet ZU Board Development Kit. Part one is setting up the project. Part two is designing an algorithm and simulating it on your PC. Part three is elaborating the design for a specific hardware. And part four is creating the final bitstream file to program the FPGA. So this is, again, uh, setting up the project. So to set up the project, you'll need some hardware and software items from Avnet Electronics. The first is the Avnet ZU board development kit that you see pictured there on the right. This comes as a motherboard, a power supply, and a cable. The AMD Xilinx Zinc Ultrascale MPSOC is the FPGA device used for this board. This platform is great for artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, and embedded processing. If you want to learn more about the ZU board, you can simply go to the Avnet homepage where there's a description and an area where you can buy the board. It comes with a lot of more, uh, a lot more detail and documentation. And next, you'll need software. You can just go right onto GitHub and look for the board definition file for the ZUB1CG1.0, like I show there. Next, you'll need some software products from MathWorks. The first is called MATLAB. This is the main math, graphics, and programming engine. And I will list a link for the homepage, and there's a screenshot of MATLAB in action. And then the simulation platform is known as Simulink. This is where you can uh, model, simulate, and test early and often. Simulink will automatically generate code for you. And if you want to learn more about Simulink, you can go to the product page I show there. You'll also need some software items from AMD Xilinx. The first is a package called Vitus Model Composer. This is where you can design your algorithm and you can explore architectural trade-offs Vitus Model Composer will automatically generate code for you and perform verification. And if you want to learn more, you can go to the Vitus Model Composer homepage that I show here. There are descriptions, examples, and other tutorials you can try on your own. And you'll also need Vovato. This is the package that performs synthesis, place, and route of your design. Uh, and you can go to that product page uh, to learn more about Vovato. So let's review what we've covered. I showed you where to go uh, for some of the MathWorks items, some of the Avnet Electronic items, and some of the AMD Xilinx items. So get all of those, install them on your computer, and get up set up for the project. So next, I'll talk about designing an algorithm and simulating it on your PC for part two. Thank you for watching.